Hi, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're going to be solving a problem from water resources. This is an open channel flow problem. It states water is flowing through a rectangular channel at a flow rate of 900 cubic feet per second, CFS. The depth of the channel is 8 feet and the width is 10 feet. What is the slope of the channel if Manning's coefficient is 0 0.03? So right off the bat, they're giving us Manning's coefficient, which is n, 0 0.03. And because of that, I'm going to use Manning's equation. But uh, I'll refer to that in a little bit. Our flow rate is given as 900 cubic feet per second. And we're given the channel. It's 8 feet deep, 10 feet wide. So <clears throat> if you're using your civil engineering reference manual, I'm going to be pulling this from equation 19.13 in the addition that I'm using which basically states that your flow rate is equal to 1.49 divided by Manning's coefficient times the area times R, which is the hydraulic radius, raised to the two-thirds times the square root of the slope. And we are asked to find the slope. So we need to <clears throat> manipulate this equation to get S. And when you do that, you're going to get this. S equals Q times N divided by 1.49 times A R to the two-thirds and all of that squared. So we know Q, we know N, we know the area, we don't know the hydraulic radius so let's go ahead and solve for that. Hydraulic radius is the area over the perimeter and uh, this makes sense I guess if if you're looking at this the hydraulic radius is what is the perimeter is actually what's the water that's touching the edge of the channel so it's 8 feet plus 10 feet plus 8 feet that's all that's touching so if we're gonna solve this we already know the area that's just 8 times 10 that's 80 feet squared divided by the perimeter which is 8 plus 10 plus 8. What does that give you? It gives you 3.077. So now we know R. Now we just need to plug in everything. So 900 cubic feet per second times 0 0.03 divided by 1.49 times the area which is 80 feet squared times R which we just saw is 3.077 raised to the two-thirds and then all of this squared so punch that into your calculator that gives me an answer of 0 0.01146 so we want this in a percentage and that's going to equal basically 1.1 five percent that answer is C so I hope that helped you out head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam there's also a nice practice exam for you thanks bye